Mass readings for Saturday, November 11, 2023. Martin of Tours, Bishop Obligatory Memorial. Lectionary, 490. First reading, Romans 16, verses 3 to 9, 16 and 22 to 27. Salute Prisca and Aquila, my helpers in Christ Jesus, who have for my life laid down their own necks, to whom not I only give thanks, but also all the churches of the Gentiles, and the church which is in their house. Salute Eponidas, my beloved, who is the firstfruits of Asia in Christ. Salute Mary, who hath labored much among you. Salute Andronicus and Unias, my kinsmen and fellow prisoners, who are of note among the apostles, who also were in Christ before me. Salute Ampliatus, most beloved to me in the Lord. Salute Urbanus, our helper in Christ Jesus, and Stachys, my beloved. Salute one another with an holy kiss. All the churches of Christ salute you. I Tertius, who wrote this epistle, salute you in the Lord. Caius, my host, and the whole church, saluteth you. Erastus, the treasurer of the city, saluteth you, and Quartus, a brother. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. Amen. Now to him that is able to establish you, according to my gospel, and the preaching of Jesus Christ, according to the revelation of the mystery, which was kept secret from eternity, which now is made manifest by the scriptures of the prophets, according to the precept of the eternal God, for the obedience of faith, known among all nations. To God the only wise, through Jesus Christ, to whom be honor and glory for ever and ever. Amen. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial Psalm. Response, I will praise your name for ever, Lord. Every day I will bless thee, and I will praise thy name for ever, yea, for ever and ever. Great is the Lord, and greatly to be praised, and of his greatness there is no end. Response, I will praise your name for ever, Lord. Generation and generation shall praise thy works, and they shall declare thy power. They shall speak of the magnificence of the glory of thy holiness, and shall tell thy wondrous works. Response, I will praise your name for ever, Lord. Let all thy works, O Lord, praise thee, and let thy saints bless thee. They shall speak of the glory of thy kingdom, and shall tell of thy power. Response, I will praise your name for ever, Lord. Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia. Jesus Christ became poor although he was rich, so that by his poverty you might become rich. Alleluia, Alleluia. Gospel, Luke 16, verses 9 to 15. And I say to you, make unto you friends of the mammon of iniquity, that when you shall fail, they may receive you into everlasting dwellings. He that is faithful in that which is least, is faithful also in that which is greater, and he that is unjust in that which is little, is unjust also in that which is greater. If then you have not been faithful in the unjust mammon, who will trust you with that which is the true? And if you have not been faithful in that which is another's, who will give you that which is your own? No servant can serve two masters, for either he will hate the one and love the other, or he will hold to the one and despise the other. You cannot serve God and mammon. Now the Pharisees, who were covetous, heard all these things, and they derided him. And he said to them, You are they who justify yourselves before men, but God knoweth your hearts for that which is high to men, is an abomination before God. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ.